The internet provides a lot of health information. The fact that it isn't always accurate creates problems for physicians, since false information can also give patients wrong ideas. Professor Wolfgang Holtzgraver from the University Hospital Bonn explains why the right information is important for patients. We want patients to be responsible and able to make their own decisions, to know of alternatives that are available today, to be informed before surgery, before medical treatments or any type of therapy. Ultimately, we want to find the solution that best fits the individual. I think people will continue to look for advice from those who do not just have expert knowledge, but in whom they also trust. That's why we want to make physicians, specialists and professors directly available in our patient colloquium, which we started here at the University Hospital. The Internet is no substitute for direct contact with a physician, but it supports patients who want to reach one. The patient colloquium of the University Hospital Bonn has a multimedia format. Patients can ask experts questions before the actual event via social networks. It's especially nice when we feel that people ask personal questions. This is the case when basic information about diseases and today's already existing options are available. You can then discuss what fits the individual situation best. Traditional media are not forgotten either. Once a month, a local daily newspaper introduces the next topic and the speakers on a double-page spread. Dr. Christina Kaiser is one of these speakers. This evening, she lectures on breast cancer. Breast cancer is a topic that concerns many women, since every tenth woman will develop breast cancer during her lifetime, or many women know someone in their family or among their friends who are affected by it, which raises questions. Gynecologists are frequently the patient's first contact when it comes to topics such as early detection and screening of breast cancer, but also if there was a conspicuous finding in the breast, of course. We always appreciate patients who come well informed to the consultation, since we need to speak with a patient at eye level, of course. It's always extremely important to find out during the initial meeting what the patient knows about the subject. Is she already well informed, or does she not know a lot about it yet? When patients are already well informed, it's always essential for the treating physician to find out where the patient got her information and whether the information is factually correct. Something that's also very important is when patients explicitly ask about where they can get information on their own and what they should read. We always caution them somewhat about excessive Googling, since ordinary people are often not able to properly filter information that's available on the Internet. Is this correct? Is this wrong? Does this actually apply to my own situation? This is why we often provide the patients with literature, guides from which we know that the information is clear and accurate. The audience can also directly ask questions, of course. The physician's answers should reflect what characterizes effective communication with the patients, which is to make the often complicated contexts in medicine understandable. This includes both patient consultations and public lectures. But how did the audience actually like the event? I liked it a lot because it affects me. I've looked into this previously and this was very informative for me. I would have liked to see more detailed information. I thought the first lecture by the male doctor was a bit too general, but I quite liked the lecture by the female doctor. As a patient affected by this disease, I already knew a lot going into the lecture, so a lot wasn't new to me. I was hoping for more information. A lot that I already knew was reconfirmed and emphasized. To that extent, I'm very impressed by this event, at least by the second part. This was highly informative, and I'm very surprised how much I was able to understand as a regular person. 
This is why I conclude that this difficult issue was presented in a way to where someone without medical training was able to respond well to it.